Once again, every time we get a manager who wants to push on and win, the players crumble and melt like a digestive in a cup of tea. Every time we finish in the Champions League places this last while and the clubs look like it's going to push on, we have an awful season to follow up and finish outside the top four. To me, it's all down to poor mentality in the squad and not having enough leaders. That also comes down to the wages we pay the players. We pay the highest wages in the league and our players lose hunger and think they're at the pinnacle instead of wanting to fight the club back to the top. They also have some of the craziest length of contracts in the league. It's a culture problem that started with the Glaziers and should ultimately rest at their feet. Hopefully that's something that any of us are going to change. They need to get rid of this cancerous mentality by cutting the fat from the squad and eventually getting the Glaziers out completely. It's not going to be straightforward, however, and it's going to take time and patience. And that's something some of our awful fan base have very little of. It's about time we realised it doesn't matter who the manager or coach is, until we fix the culture of the club, we will continue to be in this cycle. Because in the last 10 years, we've had world-class managers, top coaches and top man managers, and they've all failed. When I have a cup final to win or no Europe next year, and a manager who seems like a dead man walking, as Potch looks like he's waiting in the wings. And with all the United stuff going on, I also have the added bonus of Armagh versus Westmead this weekend, and that could be a make or break game, as we have a very difficult group in the All-Ireland series. With Derry away and Galway at a neutral venue to come, we need to make the best of this game, as it's looking like a must-win even this early in the campaign. I have a busy weekend ahead. Saturday is normal golf, and then the prospect of watching the cup final in the golf club and all that goes with that. And halfway through it, the RMI game throws in. God knows what kind of mood I'll be in by Saturday night. Then, Sunday away to Learn Golf Club with the second leg of our junior county match. In fairness to them, they put in a really strong performance last weekend at our place, and we're really up against it on Sunday afternoon. Biggest bonus, as it is, is it's a long weekend, and so hopefully the weather holds up, although it's positively Baltic at the minute.